chance to work closely with these two, and they've done enormous professional work together. The theme of our conference is attachment and the essence of relationship. And I'd like to share a few thoughts on the importance of relationship in psychotherapy in general, in bonding psychotherapy in specific, and for us in our private lives for finding meaning. Looking at psychotherapy in general, most psychotherapies deal some way with relationships, and all psychotherapies have the relationship between the therapist and the client or patient. Now, believe me, I am a true believer in bonding psychotherapy. So it really, really hurts me to say this, but research on efficacy and effectiveness in psychotherapy plainly shows that it is not the method or school of therapy that has the main function of change. For instance, Professor Bruce Wampel, in his book, The Great Psychotherapy Debate, clearly shows that at least 80% of outcome depends on the context of the therapy, not on the school of the method. And, dear colleagues, what do you think is the single most important factor for change? Well, you know it. It's yeah. the relationship between the therapist and the client or the patient. Now, looking at bonding psychotherapy itself, when I look way, way back, almost 40 years now, to where I first got introduced to bonding psychotherapy, what fascinated me most was that it is, at its core, a relational therapy, one that aims to help the individual become more relationally competent. The experience of closeness in bonding functions like a psychological microscope, bringing into awareness biographically relevant memories, thoughts, and feelings. And this is, of course, a great help in doing therapy. Hurt relational patterns and dysfunctional attitudes can be worked on directly in the here and now. But more importantly, the bonding experience itself facilitates a deep healing process. When I ask experienced group members, what has been most important to you in your bonding experience? These are typical answers that I get. I felt accepted with all my feelings. I experienced my needs as a source of pleasure for me and for others. And that was so important. Or, for the first time in my life, I felt that the world can be a safe place. It is corrective experiences like these and similar ones that form the basis and the background to bonding psychotherapy therapy. So, let's look at our personal lives. Uh, we all have a professional identity. We're therapists, we're psychologists, doctors, scientists, but we are, of course, first and foremost, individuals and private persons. What's the meaning of relationship for our private life? For me personally, especially as I get older and the time seems to just rush by so quickly, this question of meaning, of what counts, just gains on urgency. I sometimes ask participants in the workshops the following question. <clears throat> if you knew that you would soon die, you were, so to speak, on your deathbed, and you look back on your whole life, what would you regret? And what would have been of real importance to you? Well, up until now, one answer I've never gotten is, I really regret not, spending, not having spent more time in the office. <laughs> no, the answers are always the same. Having given and received love, that was important. 
the relationship to my children, to my spouse, to my family, to my friends, to my close colleagues. That was important. In the end, what really counts for us are our relationships and the degree that we've had the courage to give and take with those who are closest to us. A central tenet in bonding psychotherapy is that humans have a deep-seated, biologically-based need for closeness, for being bonded with others. In other words, people need people. We need each other. When this need is fulfilled in our daily lives, we feel secure and we feel affirmed in our basic human worth. In my eyes, the experience of being profoundly accepted by others is the central healing factor in body and psychotherapy. In this sense, I want to encourage you to take full advantage of this conference to give and to take as much as possible. Be curious. Go to the speakers and ask questions. Go up to strangers and make them friends. Let's make this a heartfelt time of sharing and learning. Thank you.